So I know that a lot of women do not watch my channel and they, uh, if you look at the metrics of who's watching YouTube videos and content like this, almost no women watch it. It's like almost all men that are consuming this type of content. But in the, t in the tiny case that there is one female watching this uh, video, they could maybe learn something. Or if you're a guy, maybe you could think about these these things I'm about to say and then consider it. But basically, the topic of this video is um, the things that women do on dating apps that is just like instant red flag, instant turn off, bad. Like doesn't even make sense why they would do it. So a couple quick things here. Number one, I see women on dating apps who will post a picture of like them and some male celebrity. Like here in Utah, uh, the most famous celebrity who lives here in Utah is Post Malone. I've seen lots of women on dating apps here in Utah who have a picture of them with Post Malone. Why is it, why is that on your dating app? It doesn't like, it, that doesn't make you more attractive because you took a photo with a celebrity that makes you less attractive. Or like, it'll be a photo of them with some celebrity dude that you don't even know or something. And it'll be like, why is that on there? How, how does that make you more attractive to men that you took a photo with some celebrity and put it on your dating app? Like, best case scenario, it's just like, okay, that was dumb that you put it on there. But worst case scenario, she banged that dude. Both bad. Okay. So that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, would be, and this is really common women on dating apps who write in their dating app profile, complain about how bad the dating market is and how bad dating apps are and how much dating apps suck and how bad the dating market sucks. And it's terrible out here. And it's like, right on your dating profile, you're going to put, you're going to be negative towards men right on your profile, right? You realize that you're shopping for men. Like you're on an app shopping for men and you're going to criticize and be negative towards men right on your thing. At best, that shows that you're kind of have low EQ that you would criticize the, what you're looking for, the men you're looking for. But at, at worst, uh, that means that it's a signal that lots of, um, that you've struggled in dating, that you've struggled in dating, that you don't know how to keep a man, that you don't know how, it's a signal that you, it's a red flag. It's a red flag. It's so stupid. Like, um, or another one is complaining about getting ghosted and then putting that right on your dating app. That's just a signal that you, as the woman have likely done things to where you're not keeping men and men are not wanting to stick around. It's a, it's a ma massive red flag. So it's just so dumb that women would do that. They would pu put this big paragraph about how bad dating apps are and how much the dating market sucks on, on a dating app. So that's really dumb. Those are the, those are the first two right there. Um, and then there's other little things, um, that are not as common, a little more rare, but there's, women on like hinge who you can, you can upload like a video on there and they'll put a video of themselves like twerking in the club. And it's just like, wow. Yeah, wow. That is, that doesn't make you more attractive. <laughs> it doesn't make you more attractive. And then, okay. The final one, and this is, these are like the top four that I came up with and the final one and is putting your Instagram handle on the dating app. So I realize that there's actually a lot of women that are on dating apps specifically to get more Instagram followers. So they're not even on there for dating at all. They have no interest whatsoever in meeting up with any guy on the dating app. And they're just specifically on there. So that in hopes that, um, simps and orbiters and chodes will add the handle and follow them on Instagram. And so they've figured out that it's like a funnel for them to get more Instagram followers. So that's just obviously something to be aware of on dating apps that if you see an Instagram handle on there, there's a likelihood, there's a high likelihood that that girl isn't even on there for dating. But in the case that there actually is a girl that is actually on there for dating and actually does want to meet a guy, putting your Instagram handle on your dating app puts you into the category of all those other girls who are on there just for followers. So it's like a pretty big red flag. And sharp guys who are with it are probably going to notice that and, um, not 
like you or match with you or take you serious at all if you put your Instagram handle on there. You put your Instagram handle on there, like it's one step below basically putting an OnlyFans link or something on there. It's really, really stupid to do that. So anyway, those are the four things that women do on dating apps that are just so dumb. And uh, so yeah, if any, um, if any woman actually watched this, then maybe don't do those four things. But, and then if you're a guy watching this, hopefully this video was entertaining and maybe you agree with me on, on one of these four things. And uh, yeah, if you're a guy and I missed something, um, go ahead and put it, of course, in the comments of something I missed that's something women do on dating apps that's freaking stupid. All right, have a good day.